Well, today I was excited because I put a new pressure regulator on my compressor and it doesn't leak anymore, which is great. And I hooked up my airline to it and went out here to go do some fencing. And I got a few boards up, but my nails are setting a little too deep. And then I had trouble with um, my coil nailer jamming. But I got about 10 boards up. And I was kind of hoping to get a little further today, to be honest. And I kind of mucked around with that dude and brought here and was putting nails into some scrap and putting oil through the machine and it just was not working. And if you don't know what a coil nailer is, you buy nails that are in coils like this and they put little wires in between them to hold them in position and they feed into the gun and the gun goes ka-chunk, ka-chunk, ka-chunk and sinks them in. And these are stainless. Stainless is pretty hard to work with most of the time. But I found out that I probably needed to put some new seals in this um, dude. So I took it apart. And what I found is a whole bunch of broken up plastic in here. So there's a part that goes down there in that hub and it's this part right here, which is all broken into chunks. So, um, I found a whole bunch of little pieces. So this has been broken for a very long time. Um, whoever JC was, they sold it to a local pawn shop, basically, and um, I bought it used. These are about $300, these little coil nailers. And, um, you know, Boss Stitch is a pretty good product. So, I decided that what I needed to do was to tear it apart and put some new seals in it, and it'll probably run like new again. So, it's been sitting in my shop for at least 10 years, maybe 15, and um, it doesn't matter how much you oil some of your old um, seals, if you got broken parts, and at a certain point in life, they need to be overhauled. So, here we are. But thankfully, I don't have my neighbor standing around ready to build fence right now and me having this trouble because this is going to put me back a week or two until I get all the parts in. But um, I will take this guy and clean it out. It's really dirty. Um, it's got some gunk and stuff in here and I'll get all this cleaned up really nicely. You can see there's a bunch of gunky stuff. So I'll get all this cleaned up. And then I'll get a, first I'll get a kit on order, and then um, I will get some, get to cleaning all this stuff. I'll put it in a little bit of solvent or some WD-40 and it'll delete all, dilute all that out and some toothbrushes and scrub it and clean it up. And then I'll order a kit for it, and it'll probably run for the rest of my life. <laughs> At least as far as the work that I need to do with it. Um, I used it on the chicken um, shed when I put a roof on that and then I put a roof on the house here a part of it years ago and um, and otherwise been sitting and since those two projects it's been at least 10 years maybe more so anyway um, I can think I'm going to rebuild this now and put a kit in it and uh, all new seals and get rid of all the icky parts and the broken plastic wash all that out clean it up and then uh, rebuild it, give it a shot. So I think once I get it cleaned up, I'll be able to dial my air down a little lower because uh, cedar is so soft, I just need less air pressure and I won't have them blowing out so bad. And hopefully I won't have any more feed problems. But just when you think you're like making progress, it's always something like this in life. And if you can't overcome obstacles like this, then you're probably not going to get much production done in life. So now I get to learn how to rebuild a pneumatic tool. And there's a crap load of YouTube videos out there on it. And um, so, you know, you pop one of those up, have a look at it. Go, oh yeah, that's not so hard. So, um, I'll give you a few tips and tricks, but I wanted to tear it apart before I ordered a kit for a couple of reasons. 
um, I need to make sure you know the parts like this is the little head gasket here um, I need to make sure that that's correct and I took the trigger assembly apart because it's got oil seal in here and there's another o-rings in here and those need to get replaced as well and you want to make sure that you got the right parts and if I were to just I almost ordered a kit right now off of Amazon and I thought no nope, I just need to tear it apart because if I were to kit and it's wrong that's another two week delays and blah 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 so yeah take it apart make sure you have what you need <clears throat> and then order your parts I've been down that road before <laughs> all right well I am working on the the big move and apparently it involves rebuilding my nail gun who knew that that was a task that I need to put on my list? <laughs> I mean, we could hand nail it, um, but I've bought all these stainless coil nails, which are here, number one. And number two, um, that's a lot of nails to be putting up by hand um, or screws that, we're, that we could be screwing in. Um, so I think just rebuilding this right now is the best idea because I've got <clears throat> two property lines between me. Uh, one side and then down the back fence on the other that has to get done between me and the neighbors and this is really going to save us time if we can get it working so <clears throat> time to rebuild a nailer yay <laughs>